<clears throat> okay, whatever we, show, we are showing is a negative templating. We are trying to show that um, you can take a voxel board or any board or any shape and make it your own by um, doing a negative template. So when we do this, um, especially when we do it with a voxel board, we'll want to make sure that we keep the owner's name or signature with the board. Uh, especially for those who have put signatures on their boards, like Wilby's here and uh, mine up here. Uh, for this one that Elf has done, uh, we want to make sure that when we um, end up with our final product that we make sure that Elf's um, we put Elf's name back onto it. Because what we're trying to do is allow people to have ownership of the shapes. Uh, if you don't keep the name with the board, then something goes wrong with the shapes. No one will know who to help, to go to to help, to get help. So what we've done is we've selected, we've selected the box, selected the board. We'll want to make sure that the board goes one voxel outside of the shapes on each side so that the shapes will be sh wholly encased. Um, and you can see we also put a, a board along the bottom so that we can make sure that we can encase the entire, all of the shapes. We have moved that over. the selection box over by holding shift and dragging the selection box over. Um, and we have done an add tool with our, and then added a um, material to that size. Okay. I'm going to go back. I'm going to get a copy of this. You want to control C, control V. I'm going to line this up and put it directly inside the box. And you have to make sure that it is in perfect alignment. You're going to do shift click on it to bring up your tweak mode. And you're going to click, make sure that it's uh, paste without error, and you, that that there's no check mark at that point, and there's no check, and you're going to put a check mark into remove voxels, and then you're going to hit your check here. Okay. Now you're going to go back to your selection, and you're going to bring your selection box over and you're going to copy this selection. You'll move your selection box over and heal your selection box so that the same uh, amount of space is healed as was on your um, this box here. Control V to paste what you copied from right there over to here. Shift click. You're going to do the remove voxels again with the top box not checked, the remove voxels box checked, and then hit your, your blue check mark. And then this is now your this is now your template so I'm, I'm, I'm going to move my selection box over now and I'm going to make um, fill in with my material into that selection box there and th for this, we are going to 
we're going to come over here and we're going to copy the backboard. And in this case, this is the signature for um, ELF for this board. And we're going to paste the backboard back in. We're doing this to make sure that um, to give credit to the owner. We love our community. We want our community recognized for the work they do. This changing of ownership of the board we do not so we gain ownership, but so I mean so we gain ownership, not so we gain credit. So we paste that in. And we'll need to paste the bottom one as well. Some signatures are along the bottom, so you will want to make sure that the bottom gets pasted. Okay, so this piece here, right here, will now be the piece that um, you can then post on Player Studio. You'll be able to post it on Player Studio so that other people will be able to do this next step and gain ownership of the the um, shapes or these ABCs, this um, healed earth area. We always suggest and we always hope that the board, if you ever display the display this, that the board is displayed with it. Always. So we're going to cop. Okay, this, as I said, this is what you would put into Player Studio. We'd be put in Player Studio. Um, so that when they, when they receive the template, it will be that one right there. And what you'll do with that template is you will put it into a block like this. The same, um, You're going to paste it into the block. Do your shift click and make sure you click paste with air, paste air with voxels. We want the air pasted here. Okay, not the remove voxels, just the air. Now what has happened here is that now this ownership of these right here are now mine. Now, because we copied the signature over, the backboard will still belong to ELF. I can show you that on Voxel Vision. As long as it takes to get this Voxel Vision up. I'll show you. Do you see those are mine? And those are else. And because I copied the backboard back to this point, when we did went from that step to this step, Elf retained ownership of the backboard and I gained ownership of the letters. So at, at this, if you use this from Player Studio, it would do the same thing. It would go to here. Now I can show you that. I think I can show you. This is an item that's not mine. It's a template that I bought off of, uh, bought off of the Player Studio, and you can see 
it will not work because you cannot do the remove voxels. So I cannot do this step with a regular player studio item. I'll only be able to do it with this heal if the player studio has the healed technique on it, the healed blocks on it. And only the healed blocks are will be able to be gained ownership of. So what can happen now if using the, when using this technique is that say you have um, multiple items you want to put up on the player studio that you want them to be able to be separated from each other. You can put them all together with your board and put them up with the board and someone else can copy them and separate them out later. Because this is these these letters would now belong once the board is pasted into the block the pieces that are um, the heel pieces then become the owners of um, the person who put it in who created the block. So I can now I would now be able to remove the the letters off of the board. And it's a good technique so that um, you can do that with any board with ownership swapping. Um, if you want to put a board up on your property that other people can gain ownership of just the shapes, then you would do it this way. You'd get it to, to the uh, healed earth state, and that's what you would have up on your property like this. So other people can then copy it. Just remember, those of you who are copying, please make sure that you copy the backboard with it and retain the backboard's ownership with um, the person who created it. That will help us all in the community and um, will be the proper etiquette for this. Thank you very much. Please um, feel free to share and uh, we hope this will be a benefit to everyone. Thank you.